What is with you? Finally coming apart at the seams from all those late nights spent researching, huh? <laughs> For once, your sharp tongue misses its mark. My elation is too powerful for your petty sniping to have any effect. Not long ago, the church reached out to me. They bade me travel to House Geert, escorted by the knights. During the Dagda and Bridget War, you see, Houses Nouvelle and Geert fought side by side. Yet we were the ones who suffered wreck and ruin, while they kept their foreign ministry position. I cannot turn back time to change that, of course. But I would relish the opportunity to give Duke Geert a proper tongue lashing. I guess that is one of your pastimes, isn't it? Anyway, seems the church has business with House Geert. Geert is one of the six great noble houses. They oversee the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the Ministry is in charge of diplomacy for other regions and territories. The Church wishes to obtain a hero's relic, thought to reside in House Geert's collection. The delicate negotiations of acquiring it fall to me, due to my connection with the Duke. I thought they were all returned to the descendants of the Ten Elites by the Church ages ago. House Geert has no ties to the Elites, and I don't think the Head even has a crest. Odd indeed for them to have a relic. There is talk that the relic fell into his hands during the Dagda and Bridget War. The Church of Saros was displeased to learn this. They feel the relic should belong to them and have made that plain to House Geert. I believe the relic was found in a foreign land where it was mistaken for a marvelous but benign treasure. Then it was probably gifted as recompense to House Geert, as part of a reconciliation. Who can say why it had landed on foreign shores to begin with, though? You seem rather well informed on the subject. Eh, I caught wind of some of the story, which piqued my interest. I did some digging and drew conclusions, like I tend to do. So what you've got is what I think, nothing more. Anyway, Constance, if you're headed to House Geert, so am I. What game are you playing here? No games, <laughs> this time. I just want to get a gander at that shiny relic they're keeping hidden away. I haven't the authority to prevent it, but if you must accompany us, I should like the professor along too. The more eyes watching this snake, the better. I think you've confused a snake with a bird. You coming, friend? <laughs> I knew you'd see things my way. Allow me to make a few quick preparations and we can depart. What a delicious frisson it gives me to imagine the look upon the Duke's face. <laughs> I sure hope the church knows what they're doing. Choosing her to negotiate this. Thank the goddess you were unharmed, my lord, and that the relic is safe and sound. Yes, thanks to your intervention. Today was a day to make my blood run cold. Colder than a strang winter, I'd wager. Our foes gave us a pitched battle. I am sorry to say that the ringleader's escape was my fault. It is a miracle that no harm came to your lordship or the relic, in spite of my clumsy efforts. You don't sound quite yourself, Constance. I'd no idea what a toll life has taken on you. Perhaps it might cheer you to know that I intend to reward you for all that you've done today. For more than that, actually. I owe your parents a great debt for their services. I dare say that the church intended you to collect on it when they sent you. The debt you owed my parents need not extend to their daughter. No reward shall be necessary. Our help doesn't come for free. I think the relic will do nicely. Ah, yes, by all means. Even if you have no use for it, perhaps you know somebody who does. These are the fetters of Dromi. They draw on the power of the Crest of Obong. It's a priceless treasure that ended up in Dagda. After the truce, they sent it to us in friendship. One story holds that Saint Seros subjugated the Ten Elites and the clans who followed them. 
There may have been a few clan elders who fled across the sea to escape suppression. The Empire's Minister of Foreign Affairs must hold on to every bit of leverage that he can. Which is why I feel a bit derelict in my duty here. I've put my feelings ahead of my role. The Minister of Foreign Affairs appears to be discarding his hand in order to repay a personal debt. My lord. to be back at the monastery. I suppose the church will be wanting their relic. Yeah, they might. But I've got grander plans for it. What? Of all the self-centered... Wait, do you mean to say that you're compatible? You bear the crest of Obon? Very good, Constance. Hey, friend, I've got a request. Can you talk the church into letting me borrow the relic for a bit? If you believe anyone would lend you a relic, your wits are softer than I gave you credit for. The crest of Oban has all but vanished from Fodlin. Nobody but me carries it now. I'm the only one in all of Fodlin who can use it. A church hanging on to it is useless. Letting me make use of it is simply practical. Otherwise, it'll just be gathering dust in some stinky old vault. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I won't use it for ill. I'd never be able to make it up to Duke Gert, after all. You can keep an eye on them while they're on loan. That'll make this whole thing go over easy as pie. So this was the game you began when you offered your assistance. Well played. Thanks. I figured the Duke has no use for them, and neither does the church. But I sure do. Ultimately, I want to use them to benefit the greater good. There's certainly no harm in that.